Have you seen ads on Facebook, Google, YouTube for vending machine opportunities? I don't know if I looked at just one, but I keep getting ads and I wanna go through it in today's video to see if a vending machine business for sale, franchise opportunity, business opportunity is worth it and what you can expect to earn if you do decide to pursue a vending machine franchise. So vending machines are a pretty popular way to earn passive income. Uh, they require low maintenance and you can earn money simply by having a vending machine in the right location. I say location, location, location. It's very important where the vending machine is and we're gonna go through that and, and other key aspects of owning a vending machine uh, business routes in today's video. We'll go through the cost as well as how to start a vending machine from scratch or even buy an existing uh, vending machine operation. You can expect a vending machine to cost anywhere from a few hundred dollars all the way up to $10,000 plus if it's gonna be an ice vending machine that you see at gas stations out, outdoors, those are very expensive equipment. Now, the overall industry in terms of vending machine operators, 67% of operators are pretty small, making less than a million dollars from their operations. However, you have some pretty big corporations that own multiple vending machines and have a, a mini empire where 10% of any machine uh, operators are making more than $10 million in revenue a year from that business. You need to structure a budget to ensure that the revenue outweighs your costs because there are associated costs. And if it, the vending machine is making, say, $1,000 a month for the products and the maintenance and, and for your time, if you want to budget that in, the cost might be 40%, 50%, uh, 30%. It's going to depend uh, on the product, but it's a generally a pretty high margin sale. It's just it, it can be hard to get a lot of money uh, going as many vending machines are just making $100, $200 a month. 45% uh, of vending machines are in factories or offices, followed by hotels and schools. The best vending machine opportunities uh, are going to be in, in top locations. And that might be a benefit of going with a franchise or a business opportunity, as generally they have a corporate office that's really going to analyze the location on your behalf. So some of the startup costs, if you want to get into the vending machine game um, and then you're looking to start from scratch and not go for that vending machine business for sale, is uh, the license, insurance, leasing, inventory, and transportation. Um, I'm going to also go through a few different vending machine business opportunities. Some of them you might have already heard of. So the first is Healthy You Vending. Uh, they sell 2,500 different products at wholesale prices. So you as the owner have a ton of different options to, to go through. There's only a one-time initial cost without any ongoing fees like a franchise. The software informs you about everything, how to optimize price, and really how to maximize your revenue. They make the process easy in terms of finding the perfect uh, location wherever you are in the United States. And then Naturals to Go is similar to Healthy You. It seems like they have a pretty strong rivalry as it provides healthy vending uh, alternatives. And they have 10,000 items to, to choose from, which honestly, for me, I would be overwhelmed. I think I, I could choose from like 100 items, uh, let alone 10,000. Another uh, vending machine uh, business opportunity is clothes bins, where it's basically textile clo clothes recycling uh, that allows entrepreneurs to collect throwaway materials and be able to earn a profit from uh, this free resource. Uh, so bins are strictly located in high traffic areas such as schools, shopping centers, gas stations, and even business parking lots. And when initially starting up, you're required to open up at least 20 locations in a territory, and you have to be able to handle up to 60 bins. Also, so there's some franchise options like Ice House America, uh, where these machines are expensive, where it can range anywhere from 60,000 for their smallish uh, merchant machine, all the way up to 135,000 plus for the Ice House. So those are a couple business opportunities, a franchise. You can also visit business for sale websites like Biz Buy Sell, or even our, our business for sale section of Veta Biz that primarily has Florida uh, businesses for sale to find your ideal vending machine business for sale. There's many uh, vending machine for sale across the country and value valuations are really across the board where generally you have to pay three to six times the cash flow for a vending machine business. And again, I mentioned revenue varies quite a lot. 
Now, if you're looking to buy the actual used uh, machinery, it could be as little as $300 online, where a new machine might be closer to $3,000, $4,000 to buy a new vending machine. If you go with a franchise or business opportunity, though, they will be stricter than if you operate your own independent um, vending machine business. But going your own way, you're going to have no support from a franchise or a corporate office, as well as no collective negotiating power when you're dealing with the vendors of the products. The vending machine industry is highly competitive and there isn't that much transparency in terms of pricing. And we spent hours digging through the information that there was on vending machine businesses for sale, business opportunities, franchises, and there's not so much information in the space. Uh, where the, the companies don't disclose uh, much in terms of uh, revenue, profits, um, and there's not much performance data w that you have in other industries that we've explored on, on vetted biz. So many vending machine operators say it's purely a numbers game, as some perform well and others are, 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 bat are major failures. Um, so that's part of it where if you're just gonna own three vending machines, probably not worth it. You've gotta have a, have a little mini empire, 30, 40, 50, 100 plus. Uh, but be sure to talk to existing vending machine operators uh, to see how they're doing and perhaps someone that doesn't live in your immediate area as you could potentially be their competitor.